Hello and welcome to the short board on Parshas Noach. This week uh, we will discuss something uh, requested by uh, a, a listener to talk about the Teva, as well as uh, I was given a list from a friend of things that you learn for life from, from Noah's Teva. Uh, so I think those two can go together. Uh, we'll skip some of the juicy stuff we would have used otherwise. Uh, and to get to the point, we have a couple of thoughts that uh, Rabbi Baruch Simon of Yeshiva Rabbeinu Yitzchak El Hanan, who uh, quoted from Rabbi Chaim Yaakov Goldvich, the founding Rosh Yeshiva of Yeshiva Kerem Yavna, where I had the zechus to uh, attend and to hear him. Uh, and so Rabbi Goldvich said that the Ark or the Teva was a base medrash of chesed. It was where you learn how to treat people and treat animals kindly, because that's all that Noah got to do for a year. But this also includes uh, teaching and helping people with Torah, Shesulim Beveis Hashem, planted in the house of Hashem, that you know, someone who's especially in their yeshiva year, years, there's no opportunity like that uh, to learn and, and, and share Torah with other people and learn from other people. And uh, that reminded me of uh, a machshav that I had, a potential chiddush from uh, Adam Eitz Hasada, which is mentioned a few weeks ago in Devarim Parak Chaf, Hasik uh, Chaf also, and that Adam Eitz Hasada, what does that mean? And uh, by, by seeing something in the commentaries about that a tree gets its nourishment from, uh, from, the gra- from water, that the water is a critical part of of a, of a tree's development, especially at the beginning. I thought, oh well, maybe that's the connection between why man is compared to to a tree, because a Jewish man to get Torah, which is compared to water, so there is also incredible. It's important to be shesulim beveis Hashem, especially when it's the original initial time of growing in, in Torah before it gets to the re- regular sustenance. Um, which, you know, you still need water throughout the tree or the person's Torah throughout his life. And Rabbi Goldvich also mentioned that actually it's so much that a uh, to often you need permission to leave uh, a yeshiva uh, in order to leave and go out into the rest of the world, so leaving that teva over there. So everything I need to know about life I learned from Noah's teva. Uh, firstly, plan ahead. It wasn't raining when Noah built the ark. It only started raining later. Stay fit. When you're 600 years old, someone might ask you to do something really big. Don't listen to your critics. Do what has to be done. Build your future on the high ground. For safety's sake, travel in pairs. When you're stressed, float for a while. Don't forget we're all in the same boat. Remember the ark was built by amateurs and the Titanic was built by professionals. And finally, don't miss the boat. Listen to the short board every week. Catch up on the old ones. Share your feedback. I look forward to hearing from it. And if you have a topic that you'd like me to discuss, feel free to contact me at devarman2 at yahoo.com. Thank you. Or, or on Facebook. You can, uh, you can post there or YouTube. So thank you for listening. Have a wonderful week and a wonderful Shabbos.